Hello and welcome to the Robo Samurai channel and today, hey, wait, Happy New Year. This is the year 2024. That means that we have the 40th year of the Transformers. Hey, that's fantastic. And I got a bit of a cold that I'm trying to get over. So anyway, um, and that's what this is. This is going to be a review of the 40 year uh, reissue of the G1 Blaster and Steeljaw. And this is the package. I ordered this from Walmart online. Yeah, so they didn't really do a great job with the packaging. It just came in a, um, in a, you know, in a bubble mailer or whatever. But so that's why you'll see the damage here. But I like to be honest about these things. It's like, okay, hey, this is what you're going to get if you order it from a particular service. Sometimes Amazon, when they send their packages, they get kind of messed up too. So, but I'm going to go on ahead with this. I'm going to go on ahead and we're going to talk about it. So let's take a look at a box. So this is a very classic type of packaging, minus the fact that it says 40 year, 1984 to 2024, Transformers, more than meets the eye. And then we have, you know, all the classic stuff, the, the classic uh, Hasbro logo here. We've got Steeljaw and, um, and, and Blaster. And then here we've got, you know, the same kind of artwork on the back. Cool. I like this stuff. This is the original kind of packaging that they had for the second wave of the generation one. And you have like Shockwave and you have some of the, this is the Lux Insecticon here. You've got Dinobots. Yeah, Dinobots were in the second wave. And you have uh, Jetfire. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. And then you also have, you know, some repro tech specs. And they're not exactly the same as the original tech specs, but they look pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, that's for Blaster, and that's for Steeljaw. And usually in the original G1s, you would actually have, like, robot points, and you can cut them out. They don't do that. They don't have that. But I do like this little thing here. It is a world of constant change where things are not what they seem. It is the world of the Decept of the Transformers. A world of heroic Autobots and evil Decepticons. My brain actually wanted to see Decepticons there. So anyway, let's unbox this thing, shall we? I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open uh yeah by the way just real quick damage here oh by the way there's a bottom of the box fun this is also ri ripped and damaged there oh won't make a great display piece but it is what it is so i'm gonna take it the way it is and yes you can get this at walmart.com if that's what you choose to do uh go ahead and open this up and you can see it's got this nice plastic I'm going ahead and put this away on the side. Good doom. And okay. So we have, you know, steel jaw and then yeah, this looking pretty good. Let's cut these let's cut these plastic ties off. Uh, we'll get out our handy cutters and snip. Two, three, four, five. Whoop, 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 whoa, stay there. Five, and then uh, be very careful. Six. We'll see here. Yeah, there we go. So this one just, just wants to come out. So we'll go on ahead and do that. Sweep these away. Let's get this here. Eh. Steel jaw. And then we've got steel jaws uh, weapons. And blasters weapon. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, there you go. Um, and that's the plastic packaging. You can put it back in that packaging at your own peril. So let's take a look at Blaster. Oh, let's make sure I get all these plastic things away. There we go. Um, there's Blaster. Now, this is supposed to be more like the, uh, the animation version kind of colors. Kind of like Transformers, the movie, the G1 reissues they did for that. So, um, you get... Yeah, these are. This is a very uh, interesting color. There's no stickers on here. This is all tampoed. All these designs are tampoed on here. And actually, for G1 uh, recolor reissue, it looks pretty good. Oh, by the way, there's the paper that we're all used to seeing, and here's the instruction set. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, that's what it looks like right there, and it gives you all the instructions to transform all of them. So, but I already know that. So, but that's what it looks like nice okay so um yeah and this is what he looks like and uh yeah he's got all these nice details and the tampos here 
tampoed autograph autobot symbol here and we have uh some tampoed these red stickers they're not stickers and usually in the original when they when he released him this is where the rub sign was right here so uh not a rub sign there so no rub sign um a little bit of paint there let's look at the other side and nothing else nothing else really so um when you push these buttons they do kind of work and let's see here one of them should eject and you'll be able to take the tape here which this is we can kind of take a look at this real quick this is steel jaw you can see he's got a tampo some tampo designs on him here on both sides so looking good on both sides a little bit of paint around the the hubs and this is die cast metal right here his legs are made out of that which that's what these great parts are if you didn't know and that he fits right in there just like that so looking cool looking good so it fits in there just right um there is no place to store these weapons uh no i mean some people have done this and you can say like it's an antenna okay so it's an antenna it's great looking um let me lower this camera just a bit for y'all yeah so but uh you know if you want to store the weapon there it's possible these these pegs they they're not designed for it but you can do it so that's kind of nice let's take a quick look here i think that there's some extra detail here this is output eight ohms earphone this is hasbro all sorts of dates and stuff like that and this is like an on off switch right here so and it's painted around there at least i tried the same thing on this side i like this paint job this is kind of cool on that um although we kind of looked at that already you know so uh let's go on ahead and eject uh, steel jaw here and uh let's uh let's take a quick look at him so and we'll put blaster aside for the moment just for the moment we'll talk about steel jaw and uh yeah so this is kind of how he looks these are his weapons um and they're painted like this goldish color very nice and then you've got um yeah that's just pretty much it there's nowhere to store these in tape mode really i mean that's what they are we'll put them on when we get into robot mode so let's go on ahead and do that though so to transform him you must pull this side from this and uh there's you can see his tail right there that comes out you can pull that down you can pull down his legs you can pose down his uh his feet there we go and then you can do the same thing for the front right here and here and then we can go on ahead and push this part and it, when you push this part up it reveals his head a little bit and, it, and you just got to pull it up you can pull it up with your fingernail pull up his nose like that so he looks like that and then uh, a lot like ravage that's uh that's pretty much what you get nice flat tape but on the side he looks great so you can put the weapons on his on his edge uh, you know you plug them into this hole here and there we go there's steel jaw and his uh you know attack cat battle mode yeah pretty cool you know i mean and you can pose his uh you can pose him a little bit but you know it's you know these little these little guys here they don't pulse too much you can get them to stand i hope yeah there you go you can get them to stand and there he is right there not much else you can do with them you can pose these a little bit see they they folk they kind of do that but the only thing you can really do is kind of get them to stand <laughs> that's hey it's g1 stuff right so there we go we'll go ahead and put him there and meanwhile let's take a look at blaster blasters right here oopsie He's already wanting to fall over. Oops, there we go. Stay. Good boy. Anyway, um, yeah, blaster blasting at you, right? So let's go and transform him. Very simple G1 transformation. Pull the, I think this pulls out like this. Okay, so slide this part of the handle of the tape deck. And then you're going to pull the entire assembly like this so that loosens those joints like that and then we're going to pull the fold these down like that and fold this down and fold this down then we can take these snap that into the side of his leg snap that into the side of his leg then you can collapse these here 
open up the feet and take these here and oops ah, we are we need to actually adjust our camera just a touch because he's tall man he's tall all right so pull these out and you'll notice these are actually die cast metal in there F flip these out to the side and then you can kind of push them back in wow these are tight no complaints there huh pull the arms out pull the wrists out turn the wrists forward <laughs> same thing on the other side it's tight so again nothing to complain about there and then uh you can take flip the head up turn the head around and there's blaster in his robot mode oh man that's crazy he is a tall dude um let's take a look at some of his extra details here that show up in robot mode of course he got his head here his eyes are painted blue in the original g1 i believe they're yellow and then you have silver here a little bit of silver just all over the face there so yeah not too bad um and then you get these little red circles that are underneath the feet flaps right here yeah little red circles <laughs> that's pretty much it um not much on the articulation front here he cannot bend any of these he can move these like that and uh, some people they choose to keep his arms like this um and then you can turn these wrists this way um that's up to you um the official instructions say do it like this so that's kind of how i do it so um you know i guess you could say to each his own you know um here's his gun his gun is not painted it is just completely cast in the color that you see this gray color you can go on ahead and plug that into his hand and he'll hold it at a nice right degree angle you know and destroy decepticons at that angle or well, maybe he can slowly shoot in this direction anyway but he can't go sideways he's gonna have to turn real quick um because of transformation he does have a head swivel so that's kind of nice anyway so let's go on ahead and do a quick comparison here um here he is with the earthrise optimus prime from the netflix packaging um yeah that's you can show see how tall this this bot is it's just really really tall so anyway yeah that's about it for this particular figure um not really much to report about um if you're a g1 collector this would be a great addition if you don't have this figure um the repaint i actually have another reissue of this figure um and uh I, I was just curious about this so went and picked it up got this from walmart.com online and yes so thank you everyone and uh look forward to a lot more reviews coming in 2024 and we'll talk to you next time